we can thank the team stars for the Miami Dolphins' recent turnaround. But who are the unsung heroes who need some recognition for their contributions? The Miami Dolphins have enjoyed one of the more impressive turnarounds that we have seen in recent memory, and there are plenty of thanks to go around. The defense that lacked both an identity and the ability to stop opposing offenses has begun to figure things out. The offense is becoming a bit more reliable with every passing week as Tua Tungavailoa improves the chemistry with his receivers as well as his overall skill set. The coaching staff that the fan base had accused of losing the locker room seems to have done the exact opposite, as there have been smiles for miles over the last five plus weeks. There are obvious candidates for who to give team awards to. The crop of rookies has been outstanding, with each of Jalen Waddell, Jalen Phillips, and Javon Holland showing great signs of promise. Veterans that we expect to show out like Xavier Howard and Mike Jasicki have done so, each of them making plays that have aided Miami in winning games this season. But there are a handful of unsung heroes as well. When you have a 53-man roster playing the ultimate team game, there are going to be contributors from all over the board. The 2021 Miami Dolphins are no different, as guys who are paid $600,000 are making just as big of contributions as the guys getting paid $10 million. So who are the players that have been flying under the radar this season? Who have the invisible contributors been behind the bright lights and big names on the roster? Here are three players that deserve credit for the Dolphins turning their season around. Robert Hunt. Okay, so Robert Hunt isn't as much flying under the radar as he is flying over it and doing a 180 asterisk. Otherwise a little known lineman, Hunt made some serious waves a few weeks back against the Ravens when he illegally caught a pass from Tungavailoa and ran it in for a touchdown before being flagged for it. But just because the score didn't count doesn't mean that Hunt lost his spotlight time. There are still memes circulating nearly a month later of Hunt's likeness. But it has been his work in the trenches that makes him eligible for our list. The Dolphins' offensive line has been atrocious this season, with members routinely being graded as some of the worst blockers in the league. While Hunt would likely be an average lineman on any other team, he is by default the shining star of the Miami Dolphins' front five. He will have games in which he is graded very well, something that none of the other linemen have done at all this season. He also passes the eye test, as there are not a whole lot of times that I find myself yelling at Hunt through my TV for a missed block. Those outbursts are generally saved for Liam Eikenberg, Jesse Davis, and Austin Jackson. The team may need to do some serious house cleaning along the offensive line, but Hunt could be one of the leftover players after the rehaul. Brandon Jones. Despite missing the last two contests, Brandon Jones remains the fifth leading tackler on the Miami Dolphins roster this season. He has done this despite playing just 62% of all defensive snaps, rarely eclipsing 90% for any given game. His impact has been felt, though. In an early season game against the Raiders, Jones finished the game with two quarterback sacks and six combined tackles, two of which resulted in a loss of yardage. He made a name for himself in the Thursday night victory against the Baltimore Ravens, even though it wasn't an overly impressive statistical output. Along with fellow safety Javon Holland, Jones was largely responsible for the blitz pressure that was applied to Lamar Jackson that obviously threw him off of his game and resulted in a Dolphins victory. The team should be hoping for a healthy Jones down the home stretch. Holland has been getting much of the credit and publicity for his stellar play so far in 2021, but the production from Brandon Jones should not go unnoticed. There are question marks all over the team and even some in the defensive backfield, but it looks as though the Dolphins have their safety duo of the future in Jones and Holland. Durham Smythe. Much of the talk of tight ends surrounds Mike Jasicki, and for good reason. The fourth-year tight end has been a regular fixture on highlight reels this season, mostly with his one-handed catches. He has become one of Tungavailoa favorite targets, and was seemingly Miami only reliable offensive weapon during the early portions of the year but it is another tight end with an expiring contract that deserves some thanks from the fan base for his contributions to the turnaround. Durham Smythe has, statistically, been one of the most reliable receivers for Miami this season. He catches over 78% of all targets that come his way, the highest of any Dolphins receiver with more than five catches, Gaskin sits at 80.4%. Jasicki may be the sexier downfield option for Miami, and will be the one who demands the bigger contract this coming offseason. But if the Dolphins are looking to save some money and sign a player who is more of a traditional blocking tight end rather than a hybrid wide receiver, then Smythe could be the choice that the front office goes with. Monitoring the tight end position during the spring will be one of the more interesting storylines to watch for.